Good evening, everyone. My topic this evening is um, Alex Baldwin. Um, I want to talk a little bit about the situation at the uh, Russ movie set, the incident that happened uh, when the young lady was killed um, on the set. Now, I wasn't there, and I'm not a judge, I'm not a jury. I'm just going to give my point of view. My point of view is that uh, the reason they are going to bring uh, Alex and the young lady that pass him the gun to court, prosecute them, is because of the fact that the lady that passed him the gun should have known to check it before she passed it to him. And I guess he should have known not to pull the trigger without taking a double take to make sure that no bullets was still left in the gun. Now, the other person, I think, uh, got off because of the fact that I guess he made some type of plea deal or pleaded guilty or whatever. And he he didn't actually give Alex the gun. He gave it to the other young lady who was over the gun department. If you are over a gun department before you, when you're on a set, all of that should be checked thoroughly before you place a weapon in the hands of the actor. That's just my point of view. I know if I was working on a movie set and I was the person that was in charge of the firearms, no way would I pass a weapon to anyone unless I knew for absolute sure that there would be no bullets in that gun. No bullets whatsoever. I would make sure. I would go over and over again to make sure that there are no bullets in the gun. That was the weirdest situation. I mean, why would it be live bullets in that gun? Why? What reason? So um, it has to go to court because of the fact that a person lost their life and justice has to be served in one way or the other. Somebody has to pay for the life that is gone. I just hate that as Alex Baldwin because he didn't know that, at least that's what he said, he did not know. And I do think that if he did know, he had too much to lose if he did know to shoot that gun knowing a bullet was in there. He has a whole family. He has a whole big life. His acting career, producing career. He actually has too much to lose to do that on purpose and to lose everything he got. So this is what makes me think that he really didn't know that that bullet was in that gun. But it leaves a question mark of who put the bullet in the gun and passed it to him knowing that it was in there. Like I said, I'm not a judge, I'm not a jury, but that leaves a question mark, which is why they are going to be prosecuted. That is a question mark that anyone wants to know. Why was a bullet in the gun? So Alex Baldwin may get off, not because he's a celebrity, but because of the fact um, people know he has so much to lose. And he wouldn't have pulled that trigger and killed that woman to lose everything that he has worked so hard for and was working at the time for. I mean, that's just common sense. It would take a crazy person to know that a bullet is in the gun and you have all of this to lose, all of these kids, this wife, this young pretty wife, this family, your career, and to work hard to get to where you are to lose everything? I don't think so. Not unless a person is mentally unstable and that wasn't him. All of this, you see, uh, this is why my mom used to tell me you have to be careful in the company you keep because other people can get you in a sling. And oftentimes you never know where it comes from. 
It always leaves a question mark. Who? When? Why? And you are in trouble because of someone else. And that's just my take on it. I just really, really uh, feel sorry for his wife and his family. Uh, first of all, I feel sorry for the person that was killed, her husband. And her husband is, is really happy. And any husband or wife will be happy if they lost a loved one and no justice was served. However, someone knew that that bullet was in that gun. And I really don't think it's Alex Bowen. That's just my take because just really think about it. You have all this to lose. You have a family. You have everything. And you're going to kill somebody knowing that a bullet is in the gun and lose everything that you have? I don't think so. Not unless you're crazy. And he had no signs of being mentally unstable. At least anything like, nothing like that has been published. So, whoever passed him that weapon, whoever passed him that weapon, and I understand that there had been trouble uh, with uh, that particular scene or production or whatever, whoever was on that situation, handling that situation, um, had not been doing things properly, Allegedly, this is what I read somewhere. But that young girl who was in her 20s, I think her dad had trained her or something with the how to do the guns or how to make sure that everything is secure before you pass it on. You know, sometimes young people, their minds slip. Their minds slip. And sometimes their minds can be on something else and, you know, I'm not saying she did it purposely, but her mind could have slipped. But if that gun was in the hands of someone that was supposedly check it prior to giving it to the actors on the set, basically, that is the person that caused the situation. But the reason I guess they're going at Alex because he's the one that pulled the trigger. So you see, it's just a very, very touchy situation. The person that pulled the trigger is the person that actually killed the young lady. But the person that passed the gun may as well say pull the trigger also because it wasn't checked before it was passed. It's just a real, real sad situation. And so my heart, like I said, goes out to the... Um, the young lady that's deceased, her husband and family, because that was very devastating to them, as well as it was to Alex Baldwin and possibly the other people. I just saw the grief on Alex's um, expressions and face after that situation happened. Can you imagine someone passing you a gun? And you're on the set practicing for a scene. And you actually pull the trigger. Thinking the gun was empty as usual. And it wasn't. Wow. What a horrible, horrible situation. So that's why people have to be careful. Because no one knows what tomorrow may bring. Doesn't matter what you have. Doesn't matter what you drive. Doesn't matter how you look. Doesn't matter how much money you have. You can be at the very, very, very top. And tragedy, something this serious can happen. And wash all of that away. And this is why you just have to watch everything around you. The people you think that are your friends. The people you think you can trust on a set. You can't trust anyone these days. No one but the creator. And basically, that's all I have to say. I, I mean, that's just my point of view. And like I said, I'm not the judge and I'm not a juror. I'm just saying that anybody 
that is 